Just so you go back home and right, like there's a lot of information. I understand. Mm-hmm. And then you're a small company and all of a sudden I'm sure you get inundated with, oh my gosh, we got to go to this call and I need to find another technician and I need to find it. Like all the the responsibilities of a business owner kind of get heat back on your shoulders, right? And you kind of, mm-hmm. it sounds like you kind of lost that vision of what you could do with certain path. I think general vision. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it was like, there's there's just things that I'm going to do, like join certain path and something's magically going to happen, or it's I'm going to do great work and and really do good work for the customers and something's magically going to happen. Right. You know, it was kind of that easy way out. Sure. You know, and, you know, we were talking about the, the Dunning-Kruger, uh, you know, graph earlier or, or perspective there, and it was like, you know, something's just magically going to happen. Yeah. Right? And then so, like, as it progressed... Um, it was like, well, how come we have like these other certain members that are, that are doing well yeah. and, and really good actually. And here we are with the same tenure and, you know, we've got everything kind of, sort of, it's like, we're not following the processes, you know, and that's kind of been, like I was saying earlier, um, a realization that I had with a, co- a conversation that I had, uh, with Chris Vance, yeah. maybe like eight months ago. Yeah. You know, and I, I hadn't been using the hub, um, wasn't looking at my org chart, you know, <laughs> uh, things like that. I, yeah. I wasn't following the processes. Yeah. I mean, you know, it was just kind of willy nilly. And, uh, you know, I remember calling him, scheduling a, a call and, uh, you know, I was like, Hey, you know, I want to, you know, I want to talk. And, you know, the intention of the conversation was, is I was going to quit certain. Yeah. And. I remember Chris being like, yeah, I thought it was, I, I knew something was up, I believe is what he said, yeah. whenever you scheduled a call. Yeah. And I, I I was probably right in the middle or finishing up the dichotomy of leadership with Jocko mm-hmm. um, and um, extreme ownership yep. maybe is, is the other one that I was in right about that time or I just finished extreme ownership. And I was like, you know, it's me. Mm-hmm. You know, I've got all these tools at my disposal, um, you know, with certain path and I'm just not even using it. Yeah. I think my password had expired on the hub. Yeah. You know, and I remember just sitting in silence for like five seconds. And I think Chris even asked me if I was still on the line. And I was yeah. like, you know, it's me. And I don't think there was much other conversation after that. It's like, I really don't have anything. I got to get to work. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so... By utilizing those things um, and and utilizing those tools, we've really turned things around. I mean, yeah. like we said before, 1.66 last year, single digit net. Uh, this year, I think last week we hit two million. Yeah, uh, we're right around 12 and a half to 13 percent, which I do want to improve. Sure, but now that I'm utilizing these things and restructuring, like how our QuickBooks look, looking at at, at percentages and things like that. 